All right, I'm going to start this video in the middle of a project. I wasn't planning on making a video about it, but it got a little interesting. I bought this clock at an antique store this week, and it was kind of a cute style, and I plugged it in, and it's couldn't figure out how to set it. It's been keeping good time, though, for whatever time it was, and I had a little uh, knob pointing out the back, and I thought, that's how you set up it. No, there was no response to anything there. So when I popped the uh, front off, I found two sockets for bulbs. This was apparently lighted, which I did not know when I bought it. So I went to the store and bought a couple of indicator bulbs, six watts. The fit, I think they call that an E12 base. I'm not sure, but I think so. And plugging it in. One bulb lights, one does not. And I've done a whole lot here. Socket checks good. All the wires check good bulb this bulb works here excuse me this bulb does not work here this bulb works there so it's not the bulb and as you can see the, the clock is uh, keeping time so something is wrong somewhere here that i'm not getting a second light but since i didn't know it was lighted when i bought it i'm not sure that's a total waste um, Let's take a little look at it here. One thing that's interesting about this is the sockets say 75 watts, which I guess is the maximum. I couldn't picture having 150 watts lighted in here. This is a Numicron, by the way. I don't know if I said that. I don't have it plugged in right now, so it's not turning, but... Well, I'm going to reassemble it here and we'll take a look at the uh, final product. Alright, I have it reassembled here and I'll tell you, um, when I got it and I couldn't figure out how to set the time, I thought the little diode knob on the back did it, but it didn't. Finally came to the conclusion that you have to stick your fingers in here and starting with the hours, set that, and then the um, minutes plus ten, and then the minutes. You do that with your fingers and uh, eventually some internet research showed me that was the way to do it. Numicron, October 1972, has a nice brown plastic case, and uh, looks a little bit like a television. Of course, I only have one light, but when I bought it, I didn't think it had any. So, I'm either ahead or I'm behind. Maybe I'll get some more information on that in the future. But it was running for the better part of a week, the wrong time, but the time did uh, move appropriately. So once I figured out how to set the real time, um, it has run just fine. And I do like the styling of it. I can just get that pesky light working. Well, that's the 1972 Numicron flip dial clock with one working light bulb. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.